Hi, Jeff with Prater, uh, talking about airlocks using applications that have uh, pressure from below uh, because of a convey line using to move the material underneath here. Um, a couple of ways we combat that pressure is we offer uh, lantern rings which go inside of the end plate here and surround the, the shaft, if you can see it there. Those lantern rings we connect to an air purge kit. So that in this airlock itself doesn't have one, but it's very common that we do offer that. It mounts right here on the side. You run clean shop air to that air purge kit. That air then runs to the right here. You can see the fitting. And what that does, it blows air into the lantern rings, which then blows air into the bore of the housing from both sides. So as that <clears throat> pressure from below is blowing the product, and the pressure, of course, is trying to find the path of least resistance. It's going to try to come up through the airlock and come out through the seals here. So by having pressurized air pushing in the opposite direction, typically 3 to 5 PSI above what the pressure is below. So if we have 5 PSI below in that convey line, we would want to set the pressure on the air purge kits to 8 to 10 PSI. What that does is keeps the material away from the seals and that helps with uh, stopping the wear, early wear of those uh, uh, lantern rings and seals. We also offer <coughs> convey line adapters and those are adapters that um, we manufacture here at the shop and they go underneath the airlock. Um, it will have a tube on either side and we can uh, meet the uh, customer's specifications, three inch, four inch, six inch tube or pipe. Um, <clears throat> and we can manufacture that, mount it straight to the bottom of the airlock here. So that way the customer's uh, pipe that would be coming in here would made up with our um, uh, uh, convey line adapter and then exiting over here on this side. Um, another way we combat that pressure is we offer a pocket vent here too. So what a pocket vent is, is just that. It's a vent that vents that pressure out and out of uh, the airlock um, housing in here away from those seals. So as the pressure and the product tries to blow back up, you, we, we would put a vent in here. Customer would then thread a line into this right here. That would go back up either into a sock filter or back into the silo, uh, releasing some of that pressure. With it having a way to come out of that uh, opening into the, uh, into the vent, that keeps it again away from our seals.